subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel phone 8 plus versus samsung galaxy note 5 we're bringing back the old boy because some people say samsung no no stop slowing my phone down 800 dollars. but we're gonna see if that's really the truth here let's go ahead and boot these up at the same time in three get off the video here let's boot these up at the same time in three two one got a dog in the house and these little these little frizzies just get on the video all the time i'm sure you've seen them before but you can see that they're both booting up at the same time we have the apple sign over here samsung sign over here man note 5 is just a great design it still looks beautiful here and the iphone 8 plus says not today note 5 uh-uh i'm waiting for you at the finish line and this carrier boot logo just slowing the note 5 way down so you can see a massive update when it comes to boot up performance if that matters to you okay so the iphone 8 plus with the win on the boot up what about that fingerprint scanner let's see which one is quicker three two one and you can see it's the note 5 faster than the 8 plus even with its second gen touch id three two one and apple actually went away from the fingerprint scanner they didn't even go to a third gen but you can see the note 5 with the faster fingerprint scanner so nice stuff for the note 5 look at that 5.7 inch screen and that smaller body thinner bezels than the 8 plus but still that power in the 8 plus is undeniable quickly confirming 11.3.1 on the iphone android nugget i mean nougat here for the galaxy note 5 didn't get the oreo just yet and i'm still waiting on 11.4 over here for a red boy iphone 8 plus okay hey guys so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test let's begin with calendar 3 2 1 and you can see that's a win to the iphone 8 plus coming home what about calculator you can see that's a win to the a plus one x animations over there for the note 5 xenos model here let's go into the clock four gigs of ram on the right and we have three gigs of ram on the left i didn't see the clock i think it was the note 5 let me know down below app store and play store and you could see that one is the iphone 8 plus quite easily uh, but the note 5 is still a very good performer even though it's 2018 now just showing how good phones have been for quite some time what about the instagram and you can see instagram loads first that looked like it was the note 5 to start but maybe the 8 plus caught up there so pretty close one here on instagram let's go ahead and open up the like section you can see about the same flipping through some menus and you can see there is the iphone 8 plus so the performance you can see it's loading up better here now on a note 5 it's pretty even here on instagram maybe slightly quicker for the iphone 8 plus let's go into twitter three two one and you can see twitter is first on the note 5 and there is the iphone 8 plus and let's go into the snapchat application three two one and you can see snapchat opens first on the right for the note 5 and the note 5's got a couple wins under its belt now what about whatsapp and you can see whatsapp for the note 5 and let's go into amazon who's going to be shopping first samsung users or apple users the samsung users are shopping first tier for amazon's a win on the right let's go into ebay ebay okay note 5 again on ebay so good stuff let's go into best buy and you can see best buy opens first on the right again so the shopping app seem to open first for the note series let's go into pi geek or appy geek whatever you want to call it okay and here we are on the left for the iphone 8 plus easy win for appy geek let's go into the jetpack joyride here's where the iphone 8 plus should just crush the note 5 and it does and it's screaming loud too so there is the note 5 so way behind was the note 5 even in a basic game let's go into subway surfers and you can see subway surfers here for the left yep it's the left so even on the basic game significantly faster than the note 5 here for the iphone so that's your big jump here in performance is that gaming let's go into dead trigger now and you can see dead trigger opens first on the left game center opening up but it was still first here for the left to play see which one could get in there first and it looks like the iphone is ahead once again yes so gaming i mean we'll wait for the no five but gaming is a hands down win for the iphone big updates here if you're looking for a better gamer on the iphone series let's go into the geekbench app three two one and you could see that is the eight plus again over the no five so i would say for the majority of these applications here the iphone 8 plus was the winner let's go ahead and see if that four gigs of ram can hold them applications in the background 
for the Note 5 over the 3 gigs of RAM on the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay guys, so we're gonna go through these on multitasking now, Geekbench, and see if they have any reloads on either or which one looks faster. So both holding fine, Game Center peering again there on the 8 Plus. Let's go into Subway Surfers. About the same, maybe slightly faster to the iPhone. Let's go into Jetpack. And that one was clearly faster to the iPhone as you've seen, Appy Geek slightly faster to the iPhone, but really we're not looking for speed here. We're just looking for reloads and neither has reloaded either here, but the iPhone seems to be flying those apps open just a little bit faster than Samsung's device here. And you can see, but still very good performance here for being as old as it is there on the Note 5, meaning this phone is still usable if you wanna pick up, you know, a Sidekick Note 5 for a side phone, you know, backup phone if you like big phones. Let's go into the Twitter. And you can see that it is on the left again, Instagram. No reloads here on either. So this is some nice performance here on both. You can see that's the iPhone 8 Plus, just faster animations across the board. But that's not the case on newer Samsung phones, which actually do have a little bit faster animation sometimes than the iPhone. So there is the iPhone 8 Plus and the calendar iPhone 8 Plus. So the iPhone 8 Plus with the win here, again, slightly because of its faster animations on multitasking, but they both held them all just fine. Note 5 still a rock solid performer, just a little bit of hair behind in the speed department. Okay guys, so the final Geekbench scores are in and there is a pretty obvious win here for the iPhone 8 Plus, but it didn't seem like that much of a win in your everyday use factor here when it came to its performance. It didn't seem that massive of a jump, but in the real world, the iPhone 8 Plus is the winner here. You know, when I did the S7 Edge versus the iPhone 10, that kept up a little bit better, but the S7 Edge is also a little bit newer here than the Note 5. But if you guys wanna see any more of these older Samsungs versus the newer iPhones, as I'm always usually doing the older iPhones versus the newer Samsungs, many people like to see these. Let me know your suggestions down below. If you found this video helpful, enjoying, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.